Thanks, everybody. Um, it's a great honor to accept this gift to supporting our research. So my research uh, in the brain disease is called syllable cavity malformation. Um, let's, uh, it depends on which uh, condition you go. This can be also named as angioma or cavernoma. Um, the disease can be described as a barely-like or grip, uh, uh, grip cluster of vessels in the venous side or brain. So the vessel is extremely thin. The two potential problems, one is uh, this thin vessel break, then therefore cause the strokes, as you already hear now, what's the further cons cons consequence of the stroke. And the second problem will be when the lesion gets too big, then pressure along the neuronal tissues and um, uh, also dislocated the neuronal tissue that causes the uh, life threatening uh, neuronal defects. Um, so, but uh, so far, there are no drug treatment available for this disease. The only available treatment for this disease is uh, neurosurgery. But it depends on location of lesions and the number of lesions in the brain. Not every patient is, is, uh, has this option, is, is, is open to them. So for the, for the uh, understanding of molecular signaling, uh, molecular understanding of this disease starts about 20 years ago. In the late 1990s and the early 2000s, uh, people start now in the three, mutation of three genes, system one, system two, and system three, uh, can cause this disease. So I have been in the field for a little over 10 years now. So we've been using a multiple experimental model system to understand how this disease gene works. So in the past few years, we understand uh, f I use the disease model and understand a few uh, enzymes working with disease genes can uh, promote the disease progression. So right now, uh, we are uh, working harder to study, trying to find a chemical compound or ink block those enzymes, therefore, to block this disease. So this is, uh, I think, the gift is uh, for partly uh, supporting this uh, effort we have been doing that. Uh, in this community, I always trying to get one message across, is this, uh, even though in one out of 200 patient, uh, people in, popular, in general population have these lesions in the brain, but only a smaller population of uh, percentage of people or will have the uh, symptom of the disease problem. So therefore, this disease is classified as rare disease. Um, in this country, this disease is not very well recognized, even among clinicians in vasculature or neurologic uh, uh, disease area. So um, I think this is a, a very important space for the foundation like this come in, play a vital role for us to so study this disease and also for the patients with this disease as often disease. So with that, thanks everybody again.